Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. We're gonna try to beat this rain. It's been raining every day in Florida, but right next to me, I have a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle, which is a Malibu, but it's a complete comprehensive restoration. So there was no expense spared on this build out. Be sure to like and subscribe below so we can give you more content. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the paint quality. This is easily a nine out of 10. When you come close to it, uh, bear with me in regards to the water droplets from this cloud but you can touch it and you're not gonna feel any lines. The paint is amazing. Chrome is excellent as well, so all the chrome has been redone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the hood for you. So this has a 400 cubic inch motor with all the options you would want. So it has air condition, power steering, and power brakes, power disc brakes up front. The engine was rebuilt 100 miles ago. I'm gonna give the, the, the new owner full documentation, has a set of shorty headers on it. And then, I mean, just look at the detail of that motor. It has 443 horsepower and 437 foot-pounds of torque, and it's a handful. Uh, it still has brake-in oil in it, so it has 100 miles on it. So the next person that buys it, when you hit 500 miles, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna do a swap out with a high zinc concentrate oil. So Valvoline makes a VR1, which is what I like. But look at the detail and the quality on this motor. I mean, if, this is what, if I was building a Chevelle, this would be it. When you look down the driver's side, look at the quality of the fenders, uh, the fitment of the fenders. So I could fit my finger right there, barely in, and then I wanna go to the other side real quick. It's the same gap distance as well. So when I put my finger there, it's the same gap distance. It shows that the front end hasn't been tweaked or damaged. You've got a beautiful set of uh, wheels that have a brush finish on them, and the tires have 100 miles on them. The insulation for the hood is extremely clean and look at the details on the latch right here. Sorry if the rain's getting on the camera. No rust, the paint is the same as the top as it is underneath. You've got all the proper pieces in place down there so there's no wooden screws holding anything in place. Let me close this real quick. AC works as it should. So 70s had the signature dual headlights and then 71 and 72 had uh, single headlights in the front. You got your 400 badge right here, your Malibu badge, and then I love the trim accents that they have on this specific car. Your white vinyl top is perfect. There's no bubbling, there's no oxidation. The paint job on this easily had to cost around $7,000. As I open up the door, I want you to look at all the felt pieces right here. Look at how nice that is. And then when I put the glass up, everything, just pristine. I'm gonna close this, there you go. That is nice. Look at all the door pieces right here. So I bought this in uh, Denver, Colorado from a, a couple, a husband and wife, and they went above and beyond with this restoration. So when you look at the seats, you're gonna see that they, it has two uh, bucket seats, but these have custom bolsters in them and it feels great. Also the steering wheel has zero imperfections or cracks in it. So this is the type of car that if you if you say you're flying here and you don't and, and there's something that I didn't that I didn't disclose, I will pay for your flight back. Carpet's excellent. You got your center shift, and then the dash itself is perfect. Rear quarter is very nice as well. Extremely solid. Looks proper right here. Tires have 100 miles on them in the rear and your trim pieces are in excellent condition. Nice and solid. What we're gonna do after we go for the test drive, I'm gonna throw it in the lift and I'll film it with my iPhone so you can see how nice it really is. It has sway bars uh, that are color matched to the exterior. The rear looks great, the glass looks great. You've got a set of speakers in the back in the kick panel. Rear chrome looks great and the tail lights look great as well. Wait till you hear this thing start. You got your Chevelle emblem right here and open it for you. I mean, where are you gonna find something like this? Gaskets look good, you've got your serialization right here still. Spare tire painted to match. And then look under here, so nice and solid. Quarters look good too. Uh, they replaced this quarter for sure, you can see the weld marks, but they did it right. 
no rattling. Passenger side quarter looks great as well, and it's even in regards to the bumper gaps. So the other side's bumper gap, so I got my fingers here. Same exact gap over here, which is nice to see. It was sold new at Daniel's Chevrolet in Colorado Springs. And the top, look at how nice the vinyl top is with all the trim. Going to open up the passenger side. Same thing as the driver's side, so everything has been replaced. All the gaskets are new. And then I love, even the screws are even. Got the correct rubbers here, and it's nice and solid down here. Your Fisher panel looks good as well. And then the same thing with the felts on this side, extremely clean. And the glass and trim piece, this isn't falling off, which is common on the Chevrolet, <laughs> a Chevelle at least. Seats look good, and they fit so nice. And when you move it forward, Look at how clean that is. You'll see more of this when we go for the test drive. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank it up and get back there so you can hear how nice it is. While I'm starting to take a look at the driver's side or the passenger side fender. Looks just like the driver's side and we went over the gaps already. Go ahead and crank the key. Notice that I'm not in there pushing the gas. Starts right up, sounds extremely healthy. Wait till you hear this thing in the back. That's awesome. Let's jump in it and we'll go for a ride, just drive down the road. It only has 100 miles on it, so we can't really push it too hard. Oh my gosh. Let's go, come on. Okay, so we're inside the Chevelle right now. I want you to look at how nice the dash is and how nice the headliner is. When I open up the door, all of my lights are illuminated as they should. I believe they even have LED lights underneath here as well, so like where the factory ones would be, and it's very bright. You've got a very nice uh, dash right here with a uh, tack in place. So let's crank it up. It starts up like that every time. And if you let it sit for, say, a week or two, you just give it one pump and it starts right up. You've got a dummy gauges down here, so you've got your oil pressure, which is at 60 pounds. Your water temperature is at 150. All right, so when we get up here, you're gonna see that you have your turn signals. So that's the right turn signal, left turn signal, and then you have a radio which is a, like an aftermarket style radio. Oh, thank you. And it works as it should. You have speakers up here and then two speakers in the dash and then two in the rear and it does sound nice. Your windshield wipers are right here and they work as they should. Put those away. And then here's your cigarette lighter. Also inside the glove box, you have an owner's manual, which would normally go up in place. There's a plastic slot up there. But look at how nice the rear seats are while we're putting it in gear. They're perfect. I'm gonna open up the center console for you. So what you have here is a beautiful center console with the center shift. I'm gonna keep my notes in there, along with the plethora of spare keys that you get. We're gonna put it into drive. So it has a TH350, 373 gears, and the rear end is uh, posi traction, or it's, uh, you know, it has limited slip. Steering is very precise because it has power steering and brakes feel like a modern car. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn right onto Ravenswood. I'm just gonna drive it normally. This still has 100 miles on the motor, so it's still getting broken in. So you don't really want, you don't want to be flooring it or beating it up. You want to just drive it normally so the cam lobes don't get damaged. We're going to do a shorter trip than normal because look at how dark it is over there. What I think we'll do is we'll turn right here and then we'll go on to the main road, uh, State Road 84. Brakes feel really good. No funny sounds from the suspension. And I will show you the underneath once we get back. It sounds really good. We're going over bumps right now. It normally, when I go over bumps in this thing with, with my Ford Focus, it sounds like you're about to break everything. It, that felt like magic. All right, we're gonna turn right here and then we'll get on the main road and I'll give it a little bit of gas. Brakes feel really good, speedometer's working as it should. In the glass, there's no imperfections.
So the motor has 10 to 1 compression, uh, so that means you're going to have to run 93 octane, 92, 93 octane to get the full benefit of the power. It has an 800 uh, CFM carburetor on it, and obviously you guys saw the engine bay, it's extremely detailed. All right, let's turn right here and we'll give it a little bit of gas while we're rolling. Feels really good. I didn't floor it, I just rolled into it. Uh, we're going about 55 miles an hour right now, and it feels really, really good. Horn works as it should, and I'm gonna test the brakes right now before we get to the end here. So it's nice and even, you can let go of the steering wheel with no problems. And then I'll, uh, I'll test it out again when we get around this corner. Make sure there's no trucks here. It feels really good. If you have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. So here's underneath the Chevelle. Look at that brand new gas tank. Everything has been taken off, blasted, and painted. Got a nice UMI performance sway bar. Uh, dry shaft's been painted properly, not spray painted. Uh, when you look at everything, brand new body mounts, uh, cross member for the transmission, all new hardware as well. You've got a nice set of uh, headers that run out to two and a half inch exhaust and it sounds amazing, as you can see in the video. The engine, extremely dry. Every bushing has been upgraded, and it has disc brakes up front. You can see all the bolts are new. Look at the front end of this motor, just perfection. And they did it right. I mean, it's you can't find anything wrong with it. Even the Zerk fittings are covered. Look at that. Let me give you a nice shot. There's your condenser for the AC. And then look at the sides. It's like perfect. <laughs> Let me get to the other side for you. It's like a mirror, crazy. Got a locked rear end. Well, not locked, but it has limited slip. So when you move it, they're both going. Uh, just a solid car. Body solid, and you can see yourself in the tank. 